Hello everybody, right here I have uh, a standard Ubuntu desktop 9.10 and right now I've been trying it out a little bit on my virtual machine and the one thing that I don't like about it is that I miss some of my old applications and I can't run I can't run certain things that I would on Windows and so right now I'm going to show you if you have that same feeling what you can do to make that not a reality so you can actually run Windows applications on Ubuntu so if you go to your Firefox and you type in wine hq.org so this is what we're going to install here it's uh, a program that lets you run Windows applications on Linux, BSD, Solaris, or Mac OS X so this is for any program any uh, OS that is not Windows so this is basically what it is right here it tells you what it is and it can tell you about it. So if we go to download here and we click our Ubuntu and then we click this link click OK install it it's going to usually ask you for a password there but because I've already punched in the password today for this application it will not question you it will not question me, but it will question you. So if we go here, we'll see Wine. And the way Wine works is it creates a, a kind of a virtual C drive. If we take a look at the C drive, which is located in the system root, dot wine, DOS devices, you'll see here that we have Windows folder and a program files folder. So the two folders that programs use if they are um, on Windows. So in Windows, there's a System32. So in Windows, you have a, a registry. You have uh, all the all the necessary parts of the Windows program folder to make programs run, but not to run Windows itself. Like if we look here. I'm going to open regedit to show you the virtual registry. You always click open with Wine Windows Program Loader if you want to look in an open an executable. So I click that, it opens up. If I don't click it that way, if I just double click, it opens in an error. Archive Manager. So I can browse my, uh, my registry. I can see what's in here. Yeah. It's basically um, a virtual a virtual system, and so I have downloaded here Picasa. It's not the best example because Picasa has a, a Linux version, but I'm going to show you using the standard um, Windows installation file. So this is the file you download if you want to install Picasa on Windows. Whenever you open an executable with Wine you have to remember to right click and open with wine windows program loader because remember it opens in the archive manager otherwise it opens agree install and Picasa installs like it usually would into its windows directories so I'm gonna check these off and finish and Picasa opens right up and this is the windows version of Picasa we see here I don't have any photos here, so it's kind of a, a waste of a program, but I'm just showing you. The icon in your desktop here is going to be not trusted, so you can mark it as trusted. And then it's a, a, a useful icon. And you can op open Picasso with it. To uninstall Wine applications, you can't uninstall through Ubuntu Software Center. You have to go Wine, Programs, Picasa 3, or whatever the program is, 
uninstall. You can also uninstall the Wine programs through Uninstall Wine software, and you can click Uninstall there. All right, finish. So the one problem with uh, using Wine is Picasa doesn't know how to clean up after itself because it's not quite what it's used to. So you'll have these things left behind, like Picasa icon moved to trash. Right here you'll have programs, Picasa 3. That needs to get cleaned up. And to uninstall Wine, you just go through the Ubuntu Software Center. Installed software, you scroll all the way to the bottom because that's usually where it lurks. And you click and then click the next arrow and then remove. Alright. So Wine should work for any program. I heard people talking about how they had problems with some games. Um, I haven't tried it with any real big programs like Photoshop, but I expect they should work because most of the components are there. And uh, so if you miss any applications and you want to get away with a free operating system, you can use Wine to make it uh, a worthwhile endeavor to use Ubuntu. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.